It was the biggest empire on the planet. And it's been completely eradicated from our history. Yet there is there is so much absolute hard evidence to say it existed. Even, even just going back to, the, to old maps, just going back a couple of hundred years ago, Tartaria is over all the maps. It's, they've got their flag, everything, you know. And Tartaria was, was supposed to be this beautiful empire where the four races, your blacks, your whites, your reds and your yellows, all happily lived together everywhere, all over Africa. You had, you had white people, black people, yellow people, all over Africa. And, and um, you had these Tartarian buildings that they call Greco-Roman now. And it's got, there's no evidence that the, the Greeks or the Romans ever built any of these buildings. There's no real evidence. But these buildings are everywhere. They're in Hawaii. They're in Japan. They're in London. They're in Australia. Before the convicts went there, there were massive big cities of these gorgeous buildings that we all know and, 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 and um, see, you know. Uh, and it's funny because once you once you get a handle on learning this stuff, then you go to your own town or your own village and you see Tartarian buildings and you think those the empire was here. It was in my country. It was in Australia. It was in South America. It was in it was in, it was in the USA. And everything we've been told, like the USA, cowboys and Indians, bullshit. It's rubbish. It's made up. There's no evidence for it. <laughs> more, more more cowboys and Indians have been shot on on films. <clears throat> than ever, ever happened in America. And they don't tell you about the um, the white race who lived in the in America when the founding fathers came, or Columbus, whoever it was, discovered America. If you think of Budapest, the beautiful buildings in Budapest, mm. there's buildings all over America, all over South America, of that ilk, the same buildings, same, like the town hall. And they say, oh, they, they were all built in the Victorian times. But there's been so many researchers around the world who have, who have looked into the history of, of, of Victorian times. They, well, where's the quarries? Where did they get this stone from? There was no quarries in those days. <laughs> to build all these great big buildings, you need big quarries. And there weren't any running of, of that ilk in those days. You know, <clears throat> Another example, the Great Wall of China. Well, all the doors open the other side. So, so, so if you want to get into the wall, into the, into, inside it, and get up onto the ramparts, what have you, well, all the doors to get in are on the other side because it's not the Great Wall of China. It's the Great Wall of Tartaria. <laughs> and it's not that old because on the old maps, the big old wall of China or, or Tartaria, whatever you want, isn't on it. And you see the old maps, Rome <clears throat> hasn't got a big city status. It's, it's just like a little town. And you think, whoa, hang on a minute. You know, I thought Rome was this big thing. And, <clears throat> and then you find out, um, the Dark Ages, that first thousand years after Christ, that first thousand years didn't exist. They just made it up. And, and so, um, you know, so, so when I was born, um, 1965 ought to be 965 because they added a thousand years on. And then you go to the old churches and you see that one isn't actually a one. It's a J or an I which is J for Jesus and I, it's another, it's another word for Jesus. But, but if you go into old churches, you'll see that's, that's not a number one. It's either a J or an I. <laughs> and they've just made up a thousand years of bullshit. And then you, the, the more you look into this, you think, well, hang on a minute. So maybe the Battle of Hastings never happened. And, and you look into that and there's no evidence. They don't know where it happened. There's no, there's no archaeological evidence of any Battle of Hastings. And then you think, well, then maybe we weren't overrun by the Normans then. Maybe maybe um, it was the other way around. And, and usually a lot of the things you find are the other way around. You know, um, the French language probably comes from the English language, not the other way around. Not because we are supposedly been invaded by the Normans that brought the French language in. Well, possibly it's the other way around because in these days you had Tartaria and people flew around on, um, on, on airships all over the shop. And, and use the top of um, churches and cathedrals as stopping points. So you'd stop off at the top of a cathedral uh, spire or, or, or um, rampart, and you'd, it was like, a, it was like a, um, uh, an airship station. We'd come down, and then you'd catch the airship and go off somewhere else by climbing up the... And, they, and you find out that churches and cathedrals were not places of worship. They were, they were machines. They were devices to, to harness free energy. 
And, and in the stonework, you've got all these rods that are built into the stonework and all, all the shapes of the windows, all these cymatic shapes and patterns and symmetry that, 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 um, that supposedly send out good energy to, to the, 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 um, the local areas. Because have you ever noticed when you go around Britain and you see a, a, a really lovely built church in the middle of nowhere, there's no, there's no big village around it or, or, if, or, or maybe just a few houses, but they've got a bloody church there. You know, you think, well, there's not enough people to go there to, to go, go and worship because they were not places of worship. They were they were places of people would go there to, to build up their their organ energy. Hence, you're playing an organ <laughs> for the sound frequency and blah, 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 da, 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 and, and you feel good. And, 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 then, and then those uh, frequency waves would go into the land and make the crops grow well. But the people who destroyed the Tartarians brought in um religions because before religions every everyone everyone was spiritual so it was it was you and god and so you might have had an, an islamic tradition of that or a christian tradition of that you know and and often these church old old drawings of these churches you, you'd have the crescent thingy of the, the muslim crescent the islamic crescent alongside the cross symbolizing the christian one and it was all chapters of the same book it was, it was all spiritual chapter of the same book, but the, the, but the, uh, the, the, um, the parasite that came in and destroyed the Tartarians and made the world like it is now had to divide everybody up and have everyone at each other's throats because of the Lucian. You got, you got some people to feed up here. So we can't have this lovely utopian world of Tartaria where there was no, no one killing anyone and everyone lived happily together living in beautiful buildings. You know, there's even talk that, that, um, in Tartaria, perhaps people didn't eat so much as well because in these great big buildings, there's 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 no there's no um, there's no toilets or plumbing, <laughs> and so they th th there's a lot of um, supposition that well maybe the Tartarians didn't eat so much you know maybe they just lived on 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 the free energy the air you know around and they got all their sustenance that way and maybe picked a few fruit every now and again. <coughs> so Tartaria takes you into into whole sorts of subjects like mud floods. Why, why, why are some buildings um, cut off underground? You know, and if you if you do digging up under the ground, that building carries on. You know, so so what happened there? <laughs> and so there's this there's this th um, theory of these resets. These mud floods would come in, flooding up all over the shop, and and burying everything and and killing a lot of people. And then you reset, and the, and the old photographs of empty cities all around the world. Moscow and, and uh, Paris and what have you, big empty cities. Weirdly, with with these are old photographs from over 150 years ago, but but it's got got HD quality to it. So you can, when, when they're on the screen, you can you can zoom zoom in and, and have a trip around these empty cities, and you think, well, well, the the, the photo photography in the 70s was shite. So how come 150 years ago you've got you know, high definition photography, obviously from someone up in a, a balloon, you know, taking these photographs, and that's why you got the um, the the, uh, the zeppelin was had to be brought down and, and set on fire because oh no, you can't go travelling balloons because because they're dangerous, you know. So we'll we'll fill this one with with whatever is it hydrogen that's that's um, flammable. And let's hydrogen or, he or helium? Was it helium? It, yeah, helium. helium. Yeah, yeah. Some of the burns, and, and so we'll fill it with that instead, <laughs> and then we'll burn the bastard down. It'll be, be make headline news all around the world, and off you go. We've got our we've got our thing, and and yeah. So, so Tartaria sends you into so many different. Um, oh, so so when you got so when you got these empty cities, uh, um, another. Uh, you've got all these beautiful buildings fantastic buildings you know gorgeously we're, we're hand machinery you know, machinery um, that you plug in was only only brought into the world in 1958 you know machine tools so how how did they build those buildings i've i've, I've spoken to builders and said well how'd you go around doing that and they, and they always say i've absolutely no idea mate we couldn't build that sort of stuff now you know but you'd have to have but to get that, all that carving and stuff, you'd have hand tools. There's no way someone's chipping away at that stuff. They said they're moulds or, 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 or you'd have, there's no way a, a, a stonemason would chip out all those carvings on that, just that one building alone. That would take 
50 years. And if you fuck up, you'd have to start again, you know. And if you've ever done any carving, Chris, you know that, oh, shit, you know, I've just bashed it a bit too hard there. Oh, fuck it. So so how come you get all these beautiful carvings that, that are immaculate, you know, especially out of marble? And so there's this, 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 there's so much evidence. Oh, yeah, so going back to the empty cities, so what you've got is is masonry and it's free to reset you can put your own you can put your people in it now so you've got free masonry to put people in so there's a lot of talk that's where the word comes from freemasons because it's not that they were all chippy guys you know it's because they destroyed everyone in these big cities and then they reset them by bringing in new people their people you know and so that was freemasonry now we've got to fill it. We've got rid of everyone. We've killed them somehow. You know, we've kept the children. So then you look into all the orphan trains and all the orphan ships that that took in English people to America, American people to England, and uh, everyone was swapped around. Loads of <coughs> loads of kids farmed off to Australia and so forth. Swap everyone around. Then bring in the education system and tell them a bullshit history that never happened. But that's what you're growing up with. Mm. You know. And, and and you're too young to remember your mum and dad. And so, hence, you got the Victorian times. How come all the kids were in the factories? <laughs> you know, in, in Oliver Twist and all that. How come there's all the kids doing the work? Because there was no bloody adults because they killed them all. They reset. They got rid of they got rid of the adults and reset. And and some people say, well, that's kind of what we're going through now is, is, is possibly there's going to be a reset. And and uh, all, all the big wigs, you, uh, they're all constantly talking about. Oh, this is the big reset. This is the big reset. But the resets that in the past were these things. You you, you just curl swathes of adults, and you swap all the kids about, and off you go. You start again, and you give them a false history. And uh, and I'm just touching on a little bit of Tartaria. I'm, I'm just trying to fling it at you from lots of different angles. Mm. <laughs> but there's so much to research in it. 